Thank you. Well, let's go to New York now, where former 21-year veteran of the FBI, Jeffrey Ringel, joins me now live. Jeffrey, welcome to you. What's your take on the releasing of this memo? Well, the releasing of the memo was, I think, expected because that's the way President Trump operates. But the content of the memo was really not much of anything. I, it was very lacklustered and, and really made no charges. The allegation is that the FBI misused their powers in a non-partisan way. Is that something that's feasible in your view? Well, I would say that the FBI, 21 years in the FBI, and every FBI agent, every FBI employee has their own political beliefs and their own religious beliefs. But we, the FBI, carry out their job in a very non-partisan manner. And the... Um, the, our call of duty is to the Constitution and to the rule of law. So having said that, do I think that uh, this is partisan or the FBI's investigation was partisan? No, I don't. You said in your experience you've never witnessed anyone behave in a nonpartisan way or misuse their powers. But is it possible that somebody could have done so? Are there enough checks and balances on every member of the FBI that they would have done everything correctly um, in order to make sure that they had checked all the boxes and they couldn't be seen to be doing something wrong? Yes. And I have to say the FISA application is a very onerous application. Um, the, this four-page memo alludes that basically the entire application was written based upon one person's uh, statements, the Steele dossier. But a FISA application is going to have many, many, many facts that need to be proven and documented. So the dossier may have been one of, of uh, dozens or you know, possibly hundreds of facts that needed to go into that application. Clearly, there is no love lost between President Trump and many members of the intelligence community. Do you think that this ongoing investigation, uh, you know, and this throwing of mud in so many directions is going to permanently damage the FBI in any way? The FBI has been the target of attacks in the past, and it will be a uh, target of attacks in the future. Uh, the FBI personnel or professionals are going to continue to do their job. Having said that, it, it is not good, and it doesn't help the FBI to the general public when the president of the United States is attacking them, their credibility, their trustworthiness. That is uh, very detrimental, not just to the FBI, but to the American public. Jeffrey Ringel, really good to talk to you. Thanks very much for your thoughts and analysis on the situation. Thank you. Thank you.